Hi, I'm Peter Connolly. I'm a consultant old age psychiatrist and I've worked with NHS Tayside since uh, 1987, the last five years of which have been solely in clinical research with the Neuroprogressive Disorders and Dementia Clinical Research Network. Hi, I'm Justine Hudson, Tayside team leader for the network. So we started in 2009 and we've come a long way since. Um, the team has expanded and during that time we've had lots um, of learning and training opportunities. We've developed new skills, lots of new experiences, which has ultimately provided um, a better experience and journey for our patients. So we have, I'm very lucky in the team, we have a, a really highly skilled, experienced um, team and we all work really well together. Um, one of my main priorities as the team leader is to promote staff well-being and ensure that everyone feels well supported in their roles. Hi, my name's Brian. I'm a clinical studies officer here with the Neuroprogressive and Dementia Network. Here in Nine Wells, we have spent the last 10 years engaging in disease-modifying drug trials with the ongoing Embark and postgraduate trials running currently. We were one of the first sites that facilitated studies involving lumbar puncture. These included Engage, Creed 2 and EPAD. The EPAD study was one of the biggest European recruitments. We are also actively involved with the MND Smart trial, which was one of the first motor neuron disease trials of its kind. We were also involved with the Scottish Dementia Interest Register, where we received gold stars as the first and fastest recruiters in the UK. Here in the NDN, we are able to offer a variety of treatments for participants, from oral medications to subcutaneous injections and on-site infusions. I'm Adele Maxwell and I work as a clinical studies officer with the NDN in Tayside. Working in clinical research to enhance lives of patients isn't something that we can do on our own. We work collaboratively with various clinical services, including post-diagnostic support teams, neurology, psychiatry, primary care and radiology, just to name a few. Together, we aim to ensure that research opportunities are readily accessible and available to patients across Scotland and that we offer our trial participants a streamlined and professional service from start to finish. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm one of the clinical studies officers within the network. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to talk about is our engagement with the third sector. Um, so we've done this in a number of ways over the years. We've had links with the Alzheimer's Scotland um, Dementia Dog Service. We've also um, promoted World Alzheimer's Day every year and uh, previously we held a public engagement event. Um, we've also more recently made closer links with some of the Parkinson's patients and um, some of the public involvement groups that they run. Um, and some of us have also signed up to be Parkinson's Disease Avengers, which is which links in with Parkinson's UK. We've also worked closely with the Ewan Macdonald Centre in Edinburgh, um, which is a charitable organisation run by the family of Ewan Macdonald, who is a person living with MND. And this has had a strong influence on the development of the MND Smart Trial, which we're involved in. For a bit of fun, we also bought ourselves um, My Name's Doddy masks, which are, of course, the charity set up by the Scotland rugby legend Doddy Weir, who, again, unfortunately lives with MND. Hi, I'm Leanne. I'm a clinical studies officer and proud team member of Tayside Neuroprogressive and Dementia Network. As a team, we are committed to providing innovative and modern learning experiences using learning opportunities to support the continuous educational development of staff and students. We believe that opportunities to learn, share knowledge and collaborate provides a foundation to establish and develop an effective team environment, creating a common vision to provide the highest standards of evidence-based care. As a diverse, multi-professional team, we draw on each other's experiences to provide a positive learning environment and create opportunities to gain knowledge and develop skills to ensure that together we provide the highest standards of quality care to our patients. 
Hi, I'm Paula. I've newly joined the team as their admin support.